Hi everybody, Julia Stock, Business Revolutionary with Be Astute. We are continuing our A to Z of training provider business vocab. And this week, the exciting number or letter is B. Um, and for me, that means British values. Um, required by the Education and Skills Funding Agency, um, British values is part of the wider prevent agenda and it's really easy to do really badly. Um, the world is littered with people shoehorning British values into pretty much everything um, and not necessarily using enough imagination and thinking about the impact on the learner journey and the learner experience. Um, so there's a lot of compliance work that's being done in order for training training providers and colleges to be able to demonstrate that they have. So the kind of austerification of what we're doing, but that's not the same as doing it well and doing it in a way that might actually improve learners understanding. It's very easy for us to come up with ways of tracking that the learners have learned, which is great, but actually is what we're doing interesting are they really learning? Are they really exploring what we mean by British values and how those relate to their everyday life? Are we making our content age and stage appropriate, but also level appropriate? Or have we collectively decided that this is the British values content and we're delivering it in a kind of cookie cutter way, no matter what subject we're teaching, on what level because if we're doing the same british values content at level seven management compared with level one customer service or even level one catering then it's not really age and stage appropriate is it um you're either going to be dazzling the level one learners so that it's not really meeting their needs and probably boring the living doodars out of your level sevens who are capable of so much more and interested in things from a different perspective, or we're not meeting anybody's needs, or maybe we are meeting one group of needs at the risk of not meeting anyone else's. Um, this is where your tutors can do really great work in terms of it's a great way of almost letting them off the hook a little bit. Um, we can become over compliant heavy and forget that we've recruited our teaching staff to be creative. Um, and they're the people in the classroom with the learners and we should be creating environments where they can be creative. That doesn't mean it's okay not to teach this stuff because that's not okay, but it is something where we need to look at how we are free quality assuring what people are doing. So how are we building those quality assurance relationships with our teaching staff, with our assessors, with the people who are actually delivering on our behalf to make sure that they're delivering well and not overcooking it in terms of compliance. We want good, we want great, we love fabulous, but the same resources and the same way of going about it for every single tutor isn't a great way of doing it and to be going you know your work does not include stuff on british values okay but how are we doing that more interestingly how are we making sure we're not just ramming the same resources in um we can make this stuff really good and we can make it interesting and we can make it so that the learners actually really have the opportunity to reflect on what we mean by this stuff. Um, there's certainly an awful lot of topical content going on in the news. Some of it we may be feeling uncomfortable around discussing in terms of being worried about what might come out of that. Um, that's not a reason to step away from it. It's a reason to do more support around the teaching staff so that we can um, work out how to deliver some of this stuff comfortably. 
because as an issue, it's not going away. Um, and our learners do need to be able to make good decisions in these areas. So British values, part of our A to Z of training provider British vocabulary. Thank you very much.